We learned a new word today and it's unlaunched. NVIDIA today unlaunched its RTX 4080 12 gigabyte card. That is their word they chose to use. We're not editorializing it. And we thought oh, genuinely at first that it was a satirical article. It's actually true. So NVIDIA is pulling back the 4080 12 gigabyte that was set to launch in November. The launch date's changing. The name is changing. The price almost certainly will change as well. And we have some additional information for you so you can get up to speed on this fairly large shift in NVIDIA's plans. Before that, this video is brought to you by the Height Y60. The Height Y60 is one of the most unique cases to launch anytime recently, coming in multiple color options like this bright red, and it's also built for both water cooling and air cooling. The case pays extreme attention to detail, particularly with cable management paths like you can see with the quality rubber grommets that are always passed through, and with split lower and upper chambers. Learn more at the link in the description below. We'll have some discussion for you on what happens next, what happens to all the box art that's already done, the VBIOS, all that stuff, but here's the basics. The NVIDIA News Post states the following, quote, the RTX 4080 12 gigabyte is a fantastic graphics card, but it's not named right. Having two GPUs with the 4080 designation is confusing. Yes, yes it is, and it has been for a long time, ever since the GT 1030 also had two versions with one name and adding D4 to the end doesn't count as a new name. So uh, it's good that NVIDIA is recognizing this genuinely, but there, this is something that NVIDIA should have been able to predict this backlash. This is not a surprise. They've done this before. They've launched two cards with basically the same name and totally different specs. Normally it's a memory change, and that seems like a smaller change than here, where it's not only a memory change, but also the core is way cut down on the 12 gigabyte, as you saw in our news coverage of it when the specs first launched. So uh, this is something they should have known, but do want to express that it's good they're at least acknowledging it and doing something, because that is very rare. Here's the rest, quote, so we're pressing the unlaunch button on the 4080 12 gigabyte. The RTX 4080 16 gigabyte is amazing and on track to delight gamers everywhere on November 16th. If the lines around the block and enthusiasm for the 4090 is any indication, the reception for the 4080 will be awesome. Just some commentary here. It's a little weird to start pumping the marketing at the end of your, we really screwed this up, we're going to try and fix it statement prior to that. Normally, you don't try and mix and match the two. It comes across as tone deaf or disingenuous, uh, where even if this is a, a genuine, good intentioned change, starting to pump marketing into how great the launch has been, it does take a little bit away from that. So anyway, um, that said, we are happy they're acknowledging this. NVIDIA deserves credit for doing that much, at least, where you, Corsair recently, Corsair screwed up. Uh, you probably saw that video if you watched the channel, and they apologized publicly after we posted the video about it. We accepted their apology. We said we're happy to move on, and that's important. That analyzing the response to see, is this genuine? Is it good intentioned? Is it doing what people want it to do? And then if so, say, yep, checks all the boxes. Thank you. Let's move on. You screwed up. You admitted it. And uh, we're going we're gonna to at least move forward with a new one and see if that one's any good now, it, sort of independent of the original launch. So if this is actually genuinely resolved, and we won't know until it comes out, we have the price, the final specs, all that stuff then it is important to give that little bit of credit there. Otherwise, the company is never incentivized to do it ever again. Because <laughs> they'd be like, well, we get slapped either way, so what's the point? So um, they definitely screwed up with the naming. We were going to wait until the review to comment more on the price positioning, the naming being a little bit off, but uh, they fixed it before we got there. All right, so here's where we talk about what happens next. First of all, the boxes already exist. They say 12 gigabyte on all of them. Partners have the cards in boxes ready to go. The cards have paint on the back of them. And there's a, a risk here for consumers where, uh, depending on how this is handled, if they just re-sticker the cards, which has been done in the past where EVGA especially would take a, a sticker, cover the old name, or add like a super to the end of it or something. And there you go. It's a new card. But the problem with this is since they're coming down in spec, if it's just stickers or it's an incomplete fix where it's not totally like say sandblasted and relabeled or whatever. You could end up with 4080 12 gigabyte cards by name on the card itself, landing on eBay or on third party marketplace sellers or whatever, and potentially getting scammed. Now that's not entirely Nvidia's fault if it ends up getting sort of sold at auction, obviously, 
but you need to be aware of it as a consumer that you could get scammed if someone lists on eBay a 40, 80, 12 gigabyte card, and there's actually changes where it just physically says that on the card, but it's whatever it ends up being called, 4070 or whatever. So other than that, all the box art needs to change. Gamers Nexus has confirmed with multiple AIB partners that their boxes are being collected and destroyed or sent to recycling centers. From what we understand, NVIDIA is at least subsidizing the boxes or part of them to be replaced. So that's good since it was their up and it's their decision to change it last minute. We have not been able to independently verify the claim with our own eyes, but we've at least heard it from two sources at two different companies that NVIDIA is helping with the box art. But it is a big change. The card was supposed to launch November 16th. It no longer is. The 4080 16 gigabyte still is, and we'll have a review for you. But the 12 gigabyte card uh, with its new name, there's no official launch date yet. We'll talk about when we think that's going to be in a second. So uh, additionally, the inventory itself, so they need to repaint or resticker the cards. Uh, the vBIOS will need to be flashed as well to get the name out of there and put the new name in it. And if they're going to try and do any tweaks on the specs, that would be one of the places they could do that too. As for the rename itself, our understanding is that it'll probably become an RTX 4070, maybe a TI. We haven't seen documents detailing this from NVIDIA firsthand, but we've had sufficient conversations to believe this is NVIDIA's new direction. NVIDIA will also be reducing the price with one partner company commenting anonymously that, quote, they're not that stupid when we asked if they'd keep the same price. Speaking about NVIDIA, not the partner there. So that's a pretty big change. If they're changing the name and the price, uh, unless it's to something actually worse, that is kind of what people wanted. So hopefully it's what we want to see. Uh, this has happened before, sort of. The word unlaunch I haven't seen before personally, but this has kind of happened. AMD and NVIDIA have both made really late changes to the product in the past where right up until launch, something was set in stone and then it changed. And it was up to all the partners to work with each of those companies to sort it out. So typically what they do is they'll flash BIOS and they'll put the new name in it and then they can either cut down the card, which we've seen that as well in the past, where they use vBIOS to turn things off, slow down the frequency, something like that, because it's too late to fuse the die at that point, uh, realistically. And the other option is that they, the more recent option is they could do something at the driver level where you do a driver to vBIOS or firmware handshake, uh, sort of like LHR or the low hash rate thing. So those are two options if they want to cut it down. Cutting it down would probably be received exceptionally poorly and would be what you would call the wrong decision. So hopefully they don't do that because then it'd just be sort of cutting out the goodwill from under this announcement. Right now, pretty good announcement. This is what people want. So at some level it is sort of like, well, I, we didn't think we'd get this far, but we did. So are we happy now? Uh, and if they don't start cutting features, the answer is probably yes, other than benchmarks, obviously. Um, which is a better position to be in than it was. So for how this affects the actual RTX 4070, the, orig the original 4070, uh, we don't know. We don't know if it turns into a 4060. Probably not. Current understanding is no. Most likely the 4812 becomes a 4070 or a 4070 Ti, and the 4070 gets some other rebrand, maybe a Ti of its own or something. So, uh, or, or maybe they introduce Super and Ti for this one. It's going to be really kind of messy. Either way, um, in brief conversations with partners right now, our understanding is that NVIDIA is launching this card around CES, which would make absolute sense. That is when companies launch things. AMD's launching stuff there too. Uh, NVIDIA's launched cards at CES before. So that's probably where we'll see the 12 gigabyte reemerge um, as an announcement. As for actually coming to market, don't know. But it's going to take months to, to relabel all these boxes, get new boxes made, and do new art on the cards. And um, it's logistically complicated for the partners because even if NVIDIA is subsidizing the physical box, there's still sort of labor and staffing and the sunken cost. They've invested their money. They expected to get it back before the end of the year. They're not going to now. So it's definitely uh, going to be logistically a challenge for everybody. But anyway, the company hasn't confirmed anything for the next, the new name or the new launch date, but that's your speculation and it's probably going to get you pretty close to it. So. Really curious what you all think, though. Um, purely from a, if we look at this, if any other company did this, let's remove NVIDIA from this equation. If Fractal did this, if Fractal launched, let's say some, a case they called the Torrent, but it was actually a really terrible version of the Torrent and it was a similar price, there'd be a lot of backlash probably, or at least negative reviews. If they then came out and said, you know what, we screwed up, we're going to rename this thing and we're going to call it 
the fractal not torrent and it's going to be cheaper. Are we all happy then? And I think probably from our position, yes. So for NVIDIA, there's so much. So it's NVIDIA is such a preloaded name with all of this different emotion behind it because it's really only sort of two major companies and GPUs. So it's really polarizing. Uh, we are curious what you think, if this is sufficient. And I think right now, my statement, just to give something firm and concrete, is that it will depend ultimately on if the specs get cut down or not. If they don't cut the specs down and it's a lower price and it's a more appropriate name, like 4070, then I think at least from that aspect, we're happy. We still reserve the right to say it's worth value or whatever when we review it. But at least from that simple aspect, it seems like they're doing the right thing. So we'll see. Hopefully, hopefully it goes that way. Thanks for watching. That's it for this one. Subscribe for more. Go to store.gamersx.net to help us out directly, like by grabbing one of these mod mats for PC building. And we'll see you all next time.